Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Murder Soul Suspect. Let's continue last stuff, shall we? Let me check and see if everything's right. Because when I started up this game, this my whole resolution, all my graphic settings was changed. So I gotta make sure everything is good now. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's on full screen. Yes. Subtitles on. Good. Let's continue. Get to Ashland Hills Cemetery. All right, here we go. Didn't I already do this? Yeah, I did. Hold up one second. Let me look at the controls real quick, because it's been a while. It's been a while since I played this game. No. We're oh shit, where are the controls? Okay. Uh-huh. No. Reveal. Aha, reveal, yes, that's what I wanted. Wait, that's not it? What the fuck? Then what's what's the button to um? Hold up. <sighs> no. Oh, detect. It's F. Okay. Thank you. There we go. That's what I want. All right. There's like no demons around, at least. Oh, what's this? Collector, 100. Got an achievement for that. News article number three. While the Salem police still police department still restricts officially. Con connecting the recent killings they have completely failed to address the strange manner of each murder were the primary cause of violent death in New England as well as the rest of the United States as gunshot wounds none of the recent killings have involved gunfire are deaths from burns or fixation somehow on the rise or is there a killer with a bizarre motive exercising a twisted method of operation in all of them Stairs. Oh, there's something over there. Huh. I'm going to need a cat. Are you happy now, asshole? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> you said I was the one. More like one of many. I don't even know what he sees in her. Oh, look at him. What a pig. He doesn't even feel guilty about what he did. Just look at him staring at her. Rough breakup? He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? 
Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. Alright. I'll look into it. Alright. Broken hearted. It doesn't take a detective to see that, that the woman is broken hearted. I should try to figure out if her ex-boyfriend cheated on her. Did he cheat on her? Did the man start seeing his fiance while his ex-girlfriend was alive? Ooh, there's... I forgot two more things. Who would remind him of his ex? There you go. Everything seemed great. Guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Hmm. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. Ah, ex-girlfriend suicide. It's. It seems he only met his fiance after his ex-girlfriend committed suicide. Suicide. Oh no. I guess this one then, I guess. Uh, I wonder if he still thinks of her. Maybe that's why he's always been so hesitant. I, I wouldn't blame him, but it sucks that she's the reason I even approached him. He looks so hurt and broken. Like he needed someone to talk to. I didn't expect to fall in love with him. Weird how things work out. Huh. She was just trying to be a friend. She never anticipated this. Ah, a shoulder to cry on. Looks like the new girl only approached him because he looked so distraught and lonely. Aw. So she was just helping him out. Did he cheat on her? No. I don't think so. Wait, what? Then it's this one. Okay, that's weird. I don't like. I don't like how that's. I don't like how that's set up. That's kind of weird. Seems this was all. A... They should have did better with the organization on that part, but that's okay, I guess. Bad news. Turns out he wasn't cheating, and your suicide is what actually brought them together. Big misunderstanding. Right. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. Um, I hate to break this to you, but uh, they they're together because you committed suicide. The good news is he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is your suicide brought them together. So... So he really loved me? Right. Looks like it. Yeah. I've made a big mistake. You did. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish... I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Right. Anyways, thanks for everything. No problem. Well, at least she able to move on. Hers was the easiest so far. Her case was easy. Oh, I wish I could get that clue. 
Yo, I need a cat. Wait, what? Reveal. Guarded with a tender vengeance. In her hands. Guarded with a tender of vengeance. I need a cat. Before I go to that cemetery, I need to find a cat. for a cat. Is that cat still up there? Oh no, the cat's right here. Can I go through this? Oh no, I can't. Damn. Well, this sucks. Exactly what I mean. Why is that so hard to understand? If she doesn't want to be in a relationship, she should be direct about it. All right, let's keep going. This is Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know. Someone's watching me. Oh, 
Alrighty. Find joy. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Meaning behind cheated death. I had to ask about that Grim Reaper tattoo. I know it says cheated death right on it. But I didn't know how or why. Then he showed me the scar. Getting stabbed between the ribs like that could have easily been fatal. It's a miracle he's alive. And it didn't stop him from stealing again. He'll never learn. Why do I like that? Because he's a bad boy. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't go there, really. Can I, like, possess a crow or something? You okay? You okay? I, I don't know. I was so drunk. We both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next. I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, like your floating corpse. Wh what? Forget it. Does he not realize he's dead? I know I should go, but she might come back. Um, I don't think so, man. I think you're dead. I'm pretty sure you're dead. Oh, man, look at all these lost souls. What the? Oh. It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you in... We're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. Don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I gonna do? Just leave it to me. I need to determine if there is a link to the Bell Killer murders here. How many clues do we need? Oh, eight clues? Okay. Um, let's, let's take a look around then. Why is this here? Grave digger shovel. Why would a shovel be here? Graves aren't dug with shovels, and if it were part of the crime, the cops would have taken it with them. Hmm. That is interesting. Left behind. Police tape. The cops must have left this behind after they finished their investigation here. Um, they could have at least collected it, but I, I guess they can leave it behind. I don't know. Excuse me, but, uh, did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure. Shoreline thing. The lady said she saw something on the shoreline and might be related to my investigation. I'm guessing this. Oh. What can I learn from observing this? Uh, it is... Deceased? Washed up and tattered.
ghost man saw a body. Another ghost saw the victim's body float down here from upriver. He might know more about it. So we got four out of eight clues already. We got half of them. All right. What is this? Was this a tomb? You can literally walk through this. That's crazy. What do you know about the girl who washed up here? This thing floated down the river by her body. I think it ended up in the bushes over there. Hidden in the bushes. The witness saw something wash up ashore and end up in these bushes. Need to find out what it is. Five out of eight clues. These bushes? I should stay here until I'm done. Oh, good. Thank you, game, because I didn't want to leave. I did not want to leave. Ooh, there was something over there. I saw that. There is something over there. I want to check it out, but I can't. Wait, why is there a thing here? I see, I see the sticker thing. Yep, still a whole lot of nothing. Oh! Hard to see. Dark bushes. The bushes are too dark to see inside. I need to find a way to search them with better light. <sighs> it's too dark in these bushes. Maybe she can shine it. Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you. What are we missing? Maybe some combination of clues? Let's keep looking. Don't want to miss the clue. This rope seems familiar. Wait a minute. There's something familiar about this. Where have I seen this before? Um, rope, 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 rope. That would be this. Pattern of victim deaths. All of the victims were bound, tied up before the murder. Yeah, rope. Mm-hmm. Right. I need to get up river, find out how she died. Better tell Joy. Bell killer victim similarity. There has some. This, there has. Wow, I can't read. This has some similarities to the other Bell killer murders, but I need to find more information somehow. Sorry, I had to check on something. My phone was off. I mean, my phone was going off. Let's get to see. Oh, really? I, but we only got like six or seven clues out of eight. Body washed up on shore, so she was murdered up river. But where? Miles of banks, both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Huh. Oh, genius, it'd be a needle stack. Crawling ghosts. Wish we could just ask her, Sophia. 
Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. There she is. It's her. She's the one in the photo. <sighs> Damn it, stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here with... Did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about that. Small favor. Give her a chance. Hey, she can help all of us. Please? Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. Sophia, that girl who's been watching me in the cemetery was the murder victim. I need to find her. Oh crap! through the graveyard. Graveyards are fascinating places for me, especially the old parts. I suppose it's like the museum. Ronin, like a champ, come with, come with me and listen patiently while I 
blathered on about colonial governors who were buried here, about the mass of graves from the plague victims of the 16, 1660s, of the yellow fever that struck down so many canal workers a century ago. So much life and death has happened in this town, and what a peaceful place to get perspective on it, on all of it. Original cemetery wall. Reckless Ronin. I suppose I should expect it. A man with that many tattoos isn't afraid of pain. And is afraid of doing something today he'll regret tomorrow. But if I'm going to be attached to him, I need to have some assurance that he cares if he lives or dies. I hear stories of the chances he takes, and I hope he's just trying to impress me. Because if not, one of these days he's going to barge into a situation and come out in a box. Come on, man. It can't be that hard. Then you get over here and try it. Okay. I know it's steel or iron or something. But it's just like a fence, right? I mean, how much can it weigh? Should have brought a crowbar! Yeah. We always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking to Boston. In the middle of the night. Just get your ass over here! Hey, no problem. But remember, this whole thing was your idea. Damn! This thing's gotta be welded shut or something! Nah. No. I'm sure they have doors ready for easy access after they put dead bodies inside. Next time, we'll remember the crowbar. Next time? Wait. Where's the flask? I thought you had it. No, you... D did you put it down somewhere? It's around. Just keep looking. It's essential equipment for a road trip, you know. This is not going to end well. Whose idea was this? This is not going to end well. Haven't had this much fun in... ever. At least it'll make a good story later. Haven't had this much fun in... ever. Oh. Who's the hero? Hi, kid. Who was the hero? My great-grandfather. I found a bunch of his things from the war in the attic. I even had a drink from his flask. No one in the family ever talks about him, though. I think it's because of his gorid stories of the war. It must have been great to stick someone with a bayonet or paint a wall with someone's brains. Trust me, kid. Stuff like that stays with you forever. You only find yourself wishing to forget. So what? He was a hero. I'd do anything to be remembered like that. Instead, people think I'm a coward who committed suicide. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm no coward. And if I were still alive, I'd slit the throat of every person who ever called me one. Okay, okay, touchy subject. I get it. Jeez. People like you will never understand. Uh, I didn't commit suicide. I got murdered, dude. So, yeah. This 
girl is still running away, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, spray painted graffiti. Bell killer graffiti is unlikely the work of the killer. Killer himself. Refer danger of cult status to community relations officer. Maybe I can help? Maybe I can help. Damn it. What's wrong with this thing? What do you mean? It seems to be doing its job just fine. Its job is to let people know who I was, and I was not like this. Not this filthy. I was important and rich and clean. I knew the importance of keeping up appearances, which is why this just won't do. It needs to look better than all the others. Not like the rest of these freaks. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does this look okay to you? Uh, does this look okay to you? Looks fine to me. It looks better than these other ones behind you. So yeah, you're good. What the hell? Why Ronan became a cop? Ronan was unusually philosophical today he doesn't usually say these kinds of things but he kept going on about karma and how he needed to redeem himself from some past misdeeds i'm assuming he's talking about the crimes in his past and that's why he needs to become a cop to atone he said it was the only way he could see fixing his life here we are i felt a chill was it a ghost? Was that before or after the trials? Wonder if it's really haunted. This young lady just asked if this happened before or after the famous trial. Probably the scandalous stuff they can't talk about. There's so much more than witches in this town. A little farther now. So if you'll just follow me. So peaceful now. But some terrible things happen to these people. I think they really like this part. Such a small door. Well, I guess it is late at night. Why did so much sickness happen here? Uh, you got a problem? Hey, buddy, you got a problem? You could say that. I used to be a butcher before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping around. People used to come from miles away to buy from me. I had more awards than the wall space to hang them. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life? Then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. Right. She brought this on herself. She brought this on herself. Have a fun time in hell, weirdo. The heirloom be 12 more to uncover the story. Alrighty. Salem's history, yellow fever memorial plaque. Many brave workers from Salem who made the Panama Canal possible. Changing world commerce? Died in this facility from the dreaded yellow fever in 1904. Damn, that sucks.
Dr. Trotter's findings. Nothing like a good book. Whose hand is that? Nothing like a good book. Shh. Not now. I can't be bothered. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Fine. I'll just look around myself then. Don't touch anything. If you must know, I'm on the verge of figuring it out. Piecing it all together. No offense, but these medical books seem a little out of date. I don't think you're breaking any new ground here. Why would I do that when there's so much old ground that needs figuring out? Let me ask you, do you know what the oldest known malady is? And of course you don't, so I'll just tell you. It's death. And every culture in the world has a book on the subject, usually lost, and usually taboo. I've dedicated my life to unraveling the mysteries of death. I'm close. But there's still something missing. Some things are just better off lost. Right. Leave me be, I'm working. So even in death, you still continue working, huh? Use amputation tools. Antique medical kit. Oh god. There's retching over there. Yeah, these are 1900s medical tools. Yeah, this is like old, old, old school. What, what was this place? Why are the people sick? So what was this place? I don't know. I heard them say it was some kind of field hospital or something. Please, get me out of here. It's not what they say it is. Not with him here. Who? Dr. Trotter. I, I, I don't understand. What do you mean this wasn't a hospital? What was it? A slaughterhouse. I, I wish I could help. I really do. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. This is getting a little dark now. I'm too tired to fight. Oh, that's despair. Alright. Did this doctor did something to her? Oh, Christ. Alright. Nowhere to run. Look, I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Right. Oh. Oh. Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. Teleportation. Hold the left mouse button, displays a destination marker, and you can move the marker by releasing... What? You can move the marker all with a mouse. I'm stupid. Releasing the left mouse button will teleport you. Okay. Okay. So what I do is this... That. Cool. Tele ghosts can teleport through gaps and objects. Nice. This teleportation will be useful later on when I explore the city. Oh god, the wretching sound is gross. Gotta remember, these people died of yellow fever back in the 1900s. Early 1900s to be exact. Gramophone. Medical journals. Alright, got 11 more to find us. 11 more to go, I mean. Fever remedies.
Just hold on, will ya? She sure loves to teleport, don't she? deserve this no one should end up like this I wish I could agree but it's all my fault I let people believe that I was something I'm not they called me a war hero but I was just a coward for years I'd retell gruesome war stories of how I crushed the enemy but they were just lies I told in exchange for free drinks at the bar oh I never saw any combat Wow. You pissed somebody off to get here. He was going to expose me for the fraud I was. So I tried to kill him. Oh, but he found out before you could do it. He and some buddies dragged me out here and left me to die. No one ever came looking for me. Too ashamed, I suppose. I don't be so hard on yourself. I've put away men a lot worse than you. Right. That damn flask has brought nothing but trouble. That damn flask has brought nothing but trouble. I mean, you did something bad, you but you didn't do anything that evil. You were just a liar, that's all. Just a liar. Did I just jump over his head? I sure did, that's funny. I just hot scoped his head like boing. Various cure-alls. I doubt that. Cool. Ten more to go. Nine more to go. Ooh, I could teleport there, but... Oh, I can't go in there. Damn. What's this? Oh. Hello. Field trip gone wrong. Quiet place to study. Picked a quiet place to study. Did you fall for it too? When are they gonna let me out of here? I'm gonna kill those frat guys once I get out. Well, when was the last time you tried just walking out? Something tells me it'll be easier than you remember. Oh yeah? How's that? The door doesn't open from the inside, genius. You'll figure it out. Whatever, old man. I'll figure it out myself. So you're just gonna sit here the whole time? Wow. You're not even gonna. Go wow. Wow. This is traps the This is nowhere near over. So many deaths, but likely many more yet to come. I can't help but believe this graveyard will only get more full. Screaming phantom. Fear of more killing. Joy's mother is afraid that the bell killer will strike many more times before he's caught. Probably what happens. Travis, don't you think that's a little over the top? Okay, cut. Dwayne, how many times have I told you, don't correct me on camera? But you can't say that on the show, man. People will laugh. Oh, hell. People come to the show for over the top. Okay, sorry. Just start again. All right, roll it. Travis the Trapper here, and we're insane. Now, as you know, since there's such a violent history to this place, there's likely to be a great deal of paranormal activity here. What? What was that? Typically a paranormal event. I heard it too. There's some being. Some spirit. Hello? Are you trying to communicate with us? Wait! 
It's over there now. Who actually watches this show? It would help if you knew what you were talking about. Who actually watches this show? Gotta sound more tough on this take. Hope he's got the moonlight behind me. Gotta sound more tough on this take. Monument Hill. Holy crap, there's a lot of demons here. Yo, this is way too dangerous. There's way too many demons here. Oh, I didn't question this guy. Wait a minute. That's all he's gonna say? Alright. Oh, so she, okay, I see. She just teleported there, okay. So we have no choice but to go through here. Damn. This is going to be tough. Damn it, I died. I hate the buttons. I hate the. I hate the quick time thinking on here. It's so stupid. Why can't I just hold R and be done with this? This this quick time thing is stupid.
God damn it! Besides that, I like this game. Sure is cold out here. Yeah, probably should have brought our warmer jackets. So, William Pinchon, Pinchon Memorial Plaque, William. Pine Chone, 1723. Oh, I got sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. 1723 to 1789, the foremost chronicler, a chronicler, whatever you want to say, of common daily life in this uncommon town. They're just sitting on this grave with disrespect. This year? How can witches? Oh, you mean our football team? Yeah, I think we stand a pretty good chance. You spend a lot of nights at practice. Must be nice to just have some nights to hang out. Yeah, it's nice. Sure is cold out here. Your jacket looks really warm. Yeah. It's nice that she's so interested in football. Glad she just wants to talk. The disrespect. They're sitting on this man's tomb and they're drinking alcohol on it. Nice that she's so interested in football. The disrespect. She's practically throwing myself at him. What's a girl got to do to get a little affection? Wow, these two don't give a dick. These two don't give a damn about these deceased people. How horrible. She's practically throwing myself at him. You know, I'm pretty sure there are ghosts of witches right around this spot. Don't worry, little boy. I'll protect you. That works for me. Tonight's gonna be good. No games. That's an awesome girl. Tonight's gonna be good. Yeah, I like this one. Boys aren't that complicated. Oh, there she is.
Rex on Ronan's record. I told Rex about what Ronan told me about the criminal past. He looked concerned, but not for my safety. He just knows how tough it is to put a life together after building a rap sheet. Even if you're completely reinformed, people don't give you a chance. Hearing this gave me a new sympathy for Ronan. He's working so hard to make a new life. I mean, make a life for himself. I will have to think about this carefully. Whoa, look at this big tree. Four more to go. There she is, just waiting for me in the end, huh? Graveyard History Plaque The original graveyard was much smaller than it is today. Because of its proximity to the waterway, it has been used as a quarantine location twice in its history. Once for immigrants from England in 1665, who had developed the bubonic plague on their journey across the Atlantic. <clears throat> and once for the workers on the Panama Canal, who were sick with yellow fever in 1904. In both cases, the victims were housed near the graveyard, and when they died in large numbers, it expanded. Just stop. I'm on your side. I'm trying to figure out who killed you. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a cop. Right, I'm a cop. Wait. Tree. My God, you, you're not trying to escape me. You want me to see something. Oh. Figure out what Sophia is trying to tell me. All right. Why is she pointed at me and then to the tree? No way. Did I kill her? Yo, hold on. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. I am back. Sorry about that. Two things happened. I had to use the bathroom, and I just got my uh, delivery package today. So, yeah, I got the thing that I bought a couple days ago, so I'm happy about that. So, awesome. Anyway, where we last left off... Uh, we're still on the same recording, I mean. I'm not trying to say, like, I'm on another episode. <laughs> yeah, um, why do I feel like this ghost is telling me that Ronan killed her? Or am I tripping? I might be tripping. But let's, let's investigate anyway. What is making these sounds? Uh, the rope? No, it's... Oh, no? What? Oh, the, the crack. Wait, whoa. I knew it. The bell killer. The bell killer did murder Sophia. Holy crap. Why would he go to all this trouble to kill you this way? Hey, it's okay. You can come out of the water now. It's okay, come on. I'm on your side. Sophia's death. The killer used a strange chair contraption to drown Sophia. this contract what, what, what did he mean by contract no 
This is the memory of your murder. You're too young. You shouldn't see this. No, she's... <sighs> Grab her arm. Con contract. Sophia... If Sophia emphatically denied knowing about a mysterious contract. Did the bell killer ask her about this? Yeah, grab her arm. I swear I don't know about any contract. Please, just stop. Why are you doing this to me? Who are you? What are you doing? You're him! Oh, no! I don't want to... It's Simba. Stop it. Yo! He drew on you. His symbol. It must have meant something. Symbol. The bell killer drew his symbol on Sophia's arm. She screamed and ran away. Yo! Yo, hold up. This might sound crazy. But even though the bell killer that killed Ronan is a diff... I'm pretty sure it's a different person. What if that one that killed Sophia... What's Ronan? Hear me out. I know this sounds crazy and trippy. I mean, crazy and insane, but I think, I think that's it, in my opinion, because this Sophia, this girl screamed at him like, like she was pissed. That was a strong reaction too, especially after death. That, that has to be it, Ronan. I think you killed her, Ronan. Man, how do you not notice that? Remember, you can only teleport across gaps by holding. Okay. Two more to go. Oh, is this the other side? Yeah. Julia's thoughts, smoking Ronin. Those cancer sticks are going to drive Ronin to an early grave. I know it's something he enjoys, but I had to confront him today. I said, if you care about living into old age with me, you should give up these damn things. He said he'd given up plenty for me, and that should be enough. Not exactly the most sensitive answer, but Ronin is Ronin, and I think he never imagined he would grow to old age. Not with the life he lives. Live fast and die young, huh? One more. I'm missing one more. I need to retrace my steps to find the last one, at least. Let's retrace our steps so we can find this last one. Because I'm not ending this video so I find this last one and then go back to Joy.
Alright, where's this last thing? I need to look for it. I just gotta look for the, um, yellow indicator somewhere. It's somewhere. Yes, there's one more I gotta find, and that's it. I'm good. You know, I'm pretty sure there are ghosts in the witch. Yeah, where's that last one? I'm not leaving until I find that last one. Is that it? No, it's just a lantern. It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, have I been in here? I think so? I don't remember. Sure is cold out here. Yeah, probably should have brought our warm rejects. So... Oh wait, what's this? I I've not been in here, but it's not here. Damn, I thought it was. I'm like this could have been a good spot for it. Traps the ghost trapper, and we are in the same path. All right. For ghosts, are some. Oh. How did I not notice this before? Oh. Well, it didn't matter. Can I go inside these houses? No, I cannot. Don't mind me, I'm just retracing my steps. I need to trying to figure out where this last thing would be at. Wait, I see something glow. Oh, oh, this is new. Hold up, I've not been on this side. Yeah, this is new. Hold up. 
Do I know this is dude? Because I haven't seen these ghosts, and the last thing should be right there. Oh, no, it's not. Damn. Oh. Oh. Help! This one is getting delirious again. I'm afraid he's gonna have another seizure. Just comfort him as best you can. <coughs> His internal organs are failing. He doesn't have long now. <coughs> None of us are very long. I can't talk right now. Can't you see this man is in pain? Um, don't y'all, don't y'all three know that y'all dead? Please! I guess they don't know that they're dead. Julius thoughts. New Rose's tattoo. Something I wasn't expecting a new tattoo on Ronan. It's nice that this wasn't... This one isn't about a crime or some violence. It's about me. In fact, us. Really. Two intertwined roses right over his heart. I guess he's in this relationship for good. Kind of crazy he put he put it over the tattoo about his parents. Alright, well at least I got that, but it still wasn't the um the thing. Oh, I see it, it's over there. Oh no, it's another letter. Damn it. I thought it was the um thing. New Justice tattoo. Another tattoo on his back, another woman, but fortunately only an abstract one. Lady Justice with the scales, but without the blindfold. I asked him what it meant and for the first time he said he didn't want to talk about it. I can only guess that he has some traumatic justice isn't blind moment. Maybe he'll open up later. If only. Alright. I gotta find this last thing. Wherever it is. I'm really backtracking this thing. I'm really trying to look for this last item, too. I'm really trying. Oh, that's alcohol. Anything over here? I, I, this should have been right there. There's a dark spot, too. Too, huh? Damn. Aha! Yes! Found the last one. Awesome. Hell yeah. The heirloom. Collected a series of mysterious. Vestige artifacts. Yes. Recall the flashback. I've always been a kleptomaniac. It's not that I was lazy or anything. I was just... bored. Stolen goods were always more interesting to me. I could just look at whatever it was and relive the exciting memory of the theft itself. Sometimes I was worried that I'd get caught. Other times I was... Riding an adrenaline rush. But it wasn't until the last thing I ever stole 
and I truly felt afraid. I remember it like it was yesterday, despite the years I've been trying to forget it. My friends and I snuck into a graveyard to drink a few beers like we normally did on a boring weeknight. We headed for our usual spot, an old run-down mausoleum. Only this time it was locked. It seemed someone had finally taken an interest in the dead guy it belonged to and didn't appreciate us partying there. So we split up and went looking for a new place. Finally, I found another mausoleum. And one of its walls had begun to crumble away, but I squeezed through. The inside looked the same as all the others, except for one thing. Lying there on top of the central tomb was a dusty frame that contained a wreath made of elaborately braided rope. Knowing that antiques were valuable, I took it. I figured I'd wait a week before selling it in case anyone reported it stolen. So when I got home, I hid it at the top of my closet and went to sleep. That night, I had horrible nightmares of a dead-faced hag with rotting flesh. No matter how many times I woke up, she always found her way back into my dreams. Over the next few days, the nightmares got worse. I'd wake up only to find clumps of my hair missing and my scalp bleeding. Oh. I chalked it up to stress and feelings of guilt about stealing from the graveyard. So the next day I went to a pawn shop to sell the wreath and be done with it. I could feel a shiver run down my spine when the pawnbroker informed me that the wreath wasn't made from a rope at all. It was actually made from the human hair of a deceased loved one, as was customary in the late 1800s. I wanted the nightmares to stop, so I sold it to him. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way. Nope. Now, I spend my time trying to track it down, hoping to return it so I can finally get some sleep. Why, why, why did you return it to the original grave is my first question. And second of all, you shouldn't be messing with that stuff. Uh-uh. Remember, kids, never steal any items from a person's grave epitaph or gravesite or mausoleum just leave it alone respect the place trust me you don't want ghosts or demons on your ass all right now that i got that i can um go back the way i came demons here the ghosts are back though it makes you miss the warmth of the police station doesn't it your secret errand was to get a flashlight keep it down I can't see you and we're not wait talking a minute to each other. got it this place is crawling with people don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. What the fuck? What's going on? I already did this. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. That was a bug. Bonin! I heard screams and... It's good that you're okay. Well, I'm still dead. Tell me you found something. 
Yeah, I did. Bell killed her, drowned the girl in the lake, and let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a bell killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is... He's sadistic. One weird thing is that he... He confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. The contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case, possible bell killer survivor. Iris Campbell. Diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is there a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Great. Of course it is. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. So I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this. Oh, his wife. Oh. So. We'll be together. Be together soon. Oh boy. Investigate possible bell killer survival survival survivor at the asylum. They might be they might have been a bell killer attack survivor. She might know something. Why the hell did it brought me to a random ass thing and brought me over here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what's 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 going on? Why can't I control myself? That was super weird. That was weird. I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, alrighty, guys. I have to end my video here, and I'll see you on the next episode of Murdered Soul Suspect. That was super weird. Alright, bye, everyone.